Hi, um, welcome to another video for the engineering. What I have today um, is a um, few buck and boost converters and a charger. Uh, these are becoming very popular and uh, on the internet and eBay and stuff and you can get them for a few bucks. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, test uh, test them, see how responsive they are, um, the voltage repo and uh, how you can adjust them for your needs. So, what I have here, um, I have these three units here. Um, this one uh, is the this is the buck converter, which um, just try to get a focus, um, which uses LM two five nine six. Just click on the video and you see the uh, review on this one. This one uh, uses the same chip LM two five nine six. This can be used as a LED driver or battery charger, lithium ion or um, other type of batteries. This one is a boost converter and this one uses a different uh, chip and this is um, XL5009E1. Um, okay, so for each of these just click on the link uh, to watch the video. So this um, this board has the input um, capacitor of 100 microfarad with 50 volt, um, and it uh, looks like a low, um, low ESR value, um, maybe Panasonic, but it, this is a very cheap board. I bought it for two and a half dollars, three and dollar. I don't think it's Panasonic, and there's another um, capacitor here, C3 and um, probably a diet here um, just for um, your protection and also um, the kind of free will uh, diet um, and um, the, it has the chip LM2596 Not light yep LM2596 um, and the reason that I bought um, this board, there are many of these in eBay and other websites um, be was because of the inductor value so as you can see the inductor value is it says 470 so that stands for 47 um, micro Henry so if um, the first two digits it's the number and the third digit here is the like the decimal so if this one was one 471 that would be 470 micro henry but this is 407 470 that's zero it stands like for zero so it, it's 47 micro henry now and with the output capacity of 220 i looked up the um data sheet for this um for this chip and um I had them. Um, I know what I'm gonna use it for, and I know my input voltage, which is around uh, 30 to 40 volt, and my output voltage is uh, it's gonna be 12 volt, driving a fan. Um, so pre the load is small, less than two amp. So looking, at, there are a few tables in the data sheet, and by looking at that, that tells me I need a 68 micro Henry. Um, inductor and this was the biggest one I could get so this these boards usually come with the 33 micro Henry so that's good and the output recommended output capacitor is actually 180 uh, microfarad which is okay 220 is okay so I'm gonna stick with the same value for my uh, I'm not gonna modify it but if you want to use it for other things for example if your input voltage is uh, let's say 10 and your output is 5 because this is a buck converter um, you need a 
inductance of 22 microhenry according to the tape of data sheet and a quite big capacitor like 560 that's what is recommended micro henry microfarad and the reason for that is obvious because as your output voltage the ratio of your output to input voltage um, um, like decreases um, you need a bigger capacity to, f to um, supply the current um, so let's test this alright I connected uh, um, the input and the output and the input voltage and uh, connected to my scope and this time I'm using a small uh, alligator clip and the good thing about this board is it has a LED um, it tells you at least uh, something's going on uh, whereas with the other ones uh, like, like this one there is no LED here uh, almost same price like you pay maybe five cents more anyway let's look at the waveform okay um, channel 1 is my input channel 2 is my output as you can see so it's almost fully winded up uh, to its limit so input and output is almost identical I'm gonna start uh, moving the potentiometer whoa that was big so because the, there is only uh, the potentiometer on it it's not like a 10 or 20 turn it's like a um, 3 quarter of turn that's why it drops dead um, I'm gonna change my range to 5 volts that's better okay let's see gonna do it slowly this time okay. very responsive very fast and let's stop there look at the ripple mm. okay let's say 690 to 50 millivolt um, 50 millivolt that's um, that's good that's not a problem Increase the voltage. Yep, it's pretty constant. Um, what I'm gonna do? Uh, one thing about a good thing about this, these these uh, chips, um, they act like a voltage regulator as well. So the input voltage is 12. Let's drop it to. yep that it works now so um, as I change the input voltage the output voltage is still constant let's change it back to 24 yeah still constant 10.9 let's put it to 12 oh, it's 12 now 24 yeah 10.9 that's good so yep so it acts as a uh, buck converter and it's it regulates the voltage as well so if you your input voltage uh, is not uh, very uh, stable this is a good thing as well step stabilizes as well here you go thanks for watching